Coco Beach Baby Peach. I don't know. This is a lighter smell. But I smell peach. Or maybe a hint of coconut. I mean, this is good. I like it. It's just not one of the stronger ones. Berries and cream. Okay. <laughs> this is one of the only ones that I just don't love. I don't know why, but when I smell it, I almost smell um, NyQuil. <laughs> like that fake cherry smell. I feel terrible saying that. It's just... I need to burn it. That's what I need to do. I need to melt it and see if maybe it changes it. Because cold, it just doesn't appeal to me very much. Raise hot cocoa and marshmallows. This one's good, but honestly, I, it kind of smells like cocoa. I don't necessarily smell marshmallows. And I almost get a perfumey note, which is kind of odd, but it's good. Tokyo Spring. I know this one's very popular. It's, um, this is one of those, I, I did melt it because I wanted to get a second opinion of it. Cold. I don't love it. It's, um, I think it's the grapefruit. It's, it just doesn't smell right to me. But when I melted it, that kind of, you know, blended out. So it wasn't bad. So this one's good. I know it's very popular. It's a great, like, fresh, springy smell. So that one is good. Okay, Bella Swan. This one's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's, it's like flowers, a light floral, and kind of vanilla. Ugh, this one's so, so nice. I need to use this one soon. Almost done. Okay, Bahama Mama. It's coconutty. And maybe pineapple-y? Just a little? Maybe? <laughs> yeah, it's very tropical. I like this one. This one's good for summertime, too. I pulled aside my absolute favorite scent shots, so now I want to talk about those for you, okay? All right. So, one of my absolute favorites is Why I Autumn. I mean, like, perfect autumn smell, fall smell. It's, it's cinnamony, it's, it's like all those, like, good spices we, we use, at, you know, in the fall. And then, the weirdest thing is, what is it, the, oh God, I don't know what that spice is, the anise, anise? I don't know, but I know that's supposed to have like a licorice note, and I hate licorice, but in this is amazing. It's just, it's, it's almost like candy. <laughs> it's so good. I love, love that one, and if, you, if you're on the fence, go ahead and try it. I think everyone really would love this one. Okay, uh, this is French Quarter. I adore this smell. It's and I know a lot of people probably won't love this one. It does have patchouli in it, which I know some people hate, but it's so balanced. It's like patchouli and a little bit of floral and uh, oh, it's just it's very it's a very soothing, like relaxing smell. I adore this one. Okay. Another one of my favorites is the orange cream soda. This one is so good. It's um, it smells like if you took Sunkissed and ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and you poured it. And it's so good because this is another one of those that you smell the bubbles on. I just love, love, love this one. Okay, Meadow Dance. That sounds so happy. <laughs> Okay, this one, you know what's funny? Just today I realized what this smells like to me. I don't know if any of y'all remember 
I don't even know if that brand exists anymore. Um, I think it was called Dirty Girl, and I know they had like lotions and and body soap, you know, all the bath stuff. It's that I think that stuff had Lily in it. So I think I pick up on some Lily. It's very, very light and like I said, that little bit of floral and just a hint of powder. It's really, really good. All right, Southern Nights. Oh, gosh. I wish y'all could smell these. It's so, so, uh, let me think. This is the combination of honeysuckle, magnolia, and gardenia, I think. And I'm not a big fan of gardenia, but I'm a huge fan of magnolia because we actually have magnolia trees outside our house. It's so good. I mean, it's just, it's straight up floral, but it's, it's good. It's, it's done right. All right, let's do angel food cake. Okay, this is probably my mom's favorite because I, uh, I did half of it one day and she was like, Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> and I was like, it's angel food cake. She's like, it's so strong, it's so good. <laughs> it's, it's very, to me it smells like what angel food cake smells like. It's that cakey, but almost has that like, I guess kind of like a hint of lemon, but it, it smells fluffy. I'm, I, I don't know how I'll come up with this stuff, but it smells like that fluffy cake. It's just so good. Okay. We're down to the last few. Okay. This is uh, Welcome to the Jungle, which is her dupe of the Jungle Conditioner from Lush. It smells exactly like it. Like, spot on. It's... And I don't know if everyone, I don't know if this would appeal to everybody, but to me, I like it a lot. It's, it's that green, not grass smell, but green, like leafy, just fresh smell. Oh, it's so good. It's, I don't know how she does this. How do you do it? <laughs> it's so good. Okay. This one I love. It's Peace. It's her uh, dupe for the olive branch. Oh, it's so good. I don't, and you know what's funny is, I got this before I actually got the olive branch. And when I got this, I said, I gotta try the olive branch to see if it's really smells like this. Cause honestly, I think this smells a little bit better. I mean, it does smell like this, but this is just the best, just all around scent. It's just, it's light, not light, it's just, it's just so, it's just, I can't even describe it. I wish I could, but it's just, it, it's, it's perfect. If you just want to try a smell, a scent, I'd say go for this. I don't think you could go wrong with this. It's just, it just smells good. She, she put good in a candle. <laughs> okay, last one. This is Vanilla Bean Noel. I think this is my favorite right now. It is exactly like Bath and Body Works. It's that vanilla and caramel and maybe